has been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretchest out the heavens as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garment is mantle upon the mountain shall the waters stand at thy rebuke they will flee at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid the mountains rise up and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them thou appointest a bound that they shall not pass neither return to cover the earth he sendeth forth springs in the valleys between the mountains where the waters run they shall give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge. From the midst of us will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men. To bring forth bread out of the earth and wine maketh glad the heart of man. To make his face cheerful with oil and bread strengthen in man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou pointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. Man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play in. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they shall gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth and maketh it tremble. Who toucheth the mountains and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will sing to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him. I will rejoice in the Lord. O oh, that sinners would cease from the earth and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou appointest the darkness and there is the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, for the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, and to their father and metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop John, and for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and for armed forces everywhere, 
especially for Peter, Ronnie, Andrew, Joshua, Madison, Benjamin, Thaddeus, Will, Adam, Schuyler, and Alex. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and for every city and land and for the faithful who dwell therein for healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, and especially for those suffering from the COVID virus, and for their families, for captives, and their salvation, for those under persecution, for the faith, for our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed, most and glorious Lady Theotokos, Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To Snares which they have laid for me, 
and the traps of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I alone escape. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, with my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my supplication before him. I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. When the way wherein I walked had been secretly laid a snow for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me, no one cared for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. If thou, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness. With the fishing net of thy tongue, O apostle of godly speech, Thou hast drawn the ends of the world up from the deep of foolish vanity and of the most desolate godlessness, and by faith hast brought forth for them to Christ God, who had given thee such exceeding grace, seeing thou art a God-inspired disciple and divinely called initiate, O wise apostle Bartholomew. Because of thy name have I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited upon thy word, my soul hath hoped in the Lord. Unto every part of the world was thou sent like a ray of light by the Son of glory. Christ Jesus, our true God, and thou did mightily drive away the gross gloom of godlessness, while illuminating all them that slept in the starless night of their ignorance. And instead thou didst make them heirs of the day, O thou most glorious apostle, divinely wise Saint Bartholomew. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel trust in the Lord. In obedience to the will of him whose will all things obey. O renowned Bartholomew, thou didst follow him as the great teacher of truth. And imitating him joyously, thou didst drink the cup of death through the suffering of the cross. And thou standest now in the presence of him that is the height of all things longed for. And thou dancest with the apostles and angel choirs. For with the Lord there is mercy and with him is abundant and freedom. And he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Power and unconquered might against the demons that thou receive to drive off in the name of Christ the chief principalities of the nether darkness. O all famed apostle, and thou didst pass throughout all the earth, illuminating it brightly as the sun, and as thou wast first to come unto the much celebrated Rome, thou didst preach to all men of Christ's saving advent, O Barnabas. Praise the Lord, all ye nations, praise him, all ye people. Thou wast called the Son of Consolation, rightly and fittingly. And because thou didst imitate the first goodness, and the ways proper to God's nature, thou by sharing in his transcendent goodness, didst become a truly good man, O blessed Barnabas. And with the goodness of thy ways, and with the purity of thy mind, thou didst rouse up all faithful men to abide in the grace of God. For his mercy is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. 
as a well-tuned instrument moved by the working and power divine of the spirit O Barnabas to thee was entrusted the calling of the nations to the saving knowledge of Christ and by thy words and deeds thou didst transfigure and fashion them anew enlightening them in very truth thus to confess the divinity of Christ Jesus the friend of man the divine Savior of our souls <coughs>
reading is from the first epistle of St. Peter. Beloved, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that fadeth not away, reserved in the heavens for you, who are kept the power of God through faith and the salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are saddened in manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom have, whom having not seen ye love, in whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, Ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. The reading is from the first epistle of St. Peter. Beloved, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance. But as he who hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conduct, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear, for as much as ye know that ye are not were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold, from your vain manner of life received by tradition from your fathers. But with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. The reading is from the first epistle of St. Peter. Beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, having your manner of life honest among the nations, that whereas they spake against you as evildoers, they may be your good works, which they shall behold. Glorify God in the day of visitation. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king or as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Servants be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward. This is thankworthy. If a man for conscience towards God endures grief, suffering wrongfully, for what glory is it if, when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if, when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judged righteously, who his own self bare our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness.
Magnificent are, the, are your works. You have made all things in wisdom. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, those apostles who were scattered because of the persecution that arose over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch, speaking the word to none except Jews. But there were some of them, men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who went to Antioch, spoke to the Greeks also, preaching that believed turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he was glad, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast purpose, for he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a large company was added to the Lord. So Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church, and they taught a large company of people. And in Antioch, the disciples were for the first time called Christians. Now in these days, prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch, and one of them named Agabus stood up and foretold by the Spirit that there would be a great famine over all the world. And this took place in the days of Claudius. And the disciples determined, everyone according to his ability, to send relief to the brethren who lived in Judea. And they, and they did so, sending it to the elders by the hand of Barnabas and Saul. Be speedily that read it and to thy spirit. from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee, O Lord. Let us attend. The Lord and he who rejects you rejects me, and he who rejects me rejects him who sent me. The seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And Jesus said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. In that same hour, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit and said, Thank thee, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hidden these things from the wise and prudent, and revealed for such was thy gracious will. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee, O Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom. That 
guard it always by thy might may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The flesh is worthy of approach of God. I preserve thee, King of glory, for to serve thee as a great and terrible thing, even to the heavenly powers, and to the blessed of unspeakable and boundless love for mankind. Thou dost come and enter, come change for the
sovereign and the kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord mercy. For the precious gifts offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For this holy house and for those with faith, reverence, and fear of God, enter there. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, sinless, and angels, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord, Grant this, o Lord pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord, Grant this, o Lord that we may complete the time of our life. Repentance, a Christian ending to our life us blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Calling to remembrance her all holy, immaculate, most Let blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of the only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, with these blessed Yes, it is he 
is broken for you for the remission of sins. Oh. Likewise, after suffering, you can have a saying, Drink all of this. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many sins. Oh. Having in remembrance, therefore, the saving command, and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the session at the right hand, and the second and glorious end. Thy own of thy own, we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. blood of thy Christ, Amen. changing them by thy Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. that to those who shall partake thereof they may be unto cleansing of soul, unto the remission of sins, unto the communion of thy Holy Spirit, unto the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, unto boldness toward thee, and not unto judgment or unto condemnation. And again we offer unto thee this reasonable service for all those who in faith have gone before us to their rest. Patriots, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith, especially our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. It is truly me to bless your voice. Ever blessed and most pure as the Father of our God, and the Shepherd, and more glorious beyond compare than the Seraphim, without a farmer to give birth to God. mindful, O Lord, of Father and Metropolitan Joseph, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly leading the word of thy truth. And all mankind. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name. A Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with thy spirit. Calling to Remembrance all the saints again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loveth mankind, receiving upon his holy, heavenly, and ideal altar, for an order of spiritual fragrance will send on upon us and return us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ God. We may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God as Father, and to say. So thou who sitteth on high with the Father, and art here visibly present with us, and vouch by thy mighty hand to part unto us an immaculate body and precious blood, and through us unto all the people. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy. Blessed God. Holy things are for the holy. Suffer, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies, neither will thee a kiss as to Judas. But like people I can bless thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, not in the judgment, nor in the condemnation. Be my partaking of thy mysteries, O Lord, but unto the healing of the body.
proclaimeth the work of his hands. Day unto day poureth forth speech, and night unto night proclaimeth knowledge. Fair sound into are not heard. Their sound hath gone forth into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. Their sound hath gone forth into coming forth from his chamber will rejoice like a giant to run his course from the outermost border of heaven is his going forth and his goal is unto the uttermost part of heaven and there shall no man hide himself from his heat of the Lord are upright, gladdening the hearts, the commandments of God is far shining, enlightening eyes. Their sun hath gone forth into
judgments of the Lord are true, altogether justified, more to be desired than gold and much precious than stone, and sweet than honey and the honey.
And having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, have we give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Having that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life under Christ our God. We give thanks unto thee, O Lord, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls and bodies, for that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly soul and thy fear. Guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers in intercession, glorious Theodokos, and of ever Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification, to thee we ascribe glory, to the Father and to the Son. Let us pray to the Lord. come upon you through his grace and love towards men, always now and ever and unto
Blessed feast. <laughs> People, thank you. People were asking if I was going to give a homily tonight. Of course, I said, no. My wife tells me if I hurry up, she'll get me a cheeseburger. So I'm motivated. But I just wanted to say one little thing. Remember, remember your patron saint. Barnabas, how does the scripture describe him? In a way that not many men are described in the scriptures. Barnabas is called a good man and full of the Holy Spirit and faith. You know, that's not even his name, of course. We know his name is Joseph. He was a Levite, uh, I believe born in Spiris, um, but became known as Barnabas by the disciples and apostles, which meant son of caution or the son of encouragement. He was the guy who was always reaching out to others. Uh, tradition says that he was one of the 70 disciples or apostles, or the first apostles. Um, also, we know in, from the scriptures that uh, when, after the day of Pentecost, uh, he had a field that was his, he sold it, brought it to the apostles and laid it at their feet. And this was, of course, uh, something that many people also did at that time. But this shows the absolute total sincerity of the man. He, you know, we would say today he put his money where his mouth is, that he from the beginning, his resurrection from the dead, he just sold everything. He, he obeyed the call. Sell what you possess, give to the poor, and come follow me. And he did this. But others did too. There were, there were others who did the same thing, according to the book of Acts. But not all of them were singled out in the way that Barnabas was. A good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. What does that mean? I don't see. <laughs> and you want to know something? Either do I. I can barely imagine what it would mean to be a man that the apostles would say he was filled with the Holy Spirit. A good man. You know, this is an amazing testimony. Uh, whatever it is, this is our patron saint. This is our father. He chose us way back when, when we were a bunch of stumbling, uh, you know, <laughs> people trying to find our way. Uh, he found us, and he took us in, just like he did so often. He took in St. Paul when everybody else was afraid of him. Saul of Tarsus, the persecutor of Christians. He, uh, he was actually the leader of the early missionary journeys. We always give Paul the credit, but it was Barnabas who actually did most of the talking, most of the work in those early days. Paul, of course, Paul and Barnabas eventually had a falling out. Very sad. Had to be Paul's fault. And... Uh, it was over uh, John Mark, who was apparently a cousin of Barnabas. John Mark had gone with him on an, on an early uh, missionary journey, but got homesick or whatever, left him and went home. And Paul was not going to tolerate the kind of behavior to allow John Mark to accompany them on their next journey. And the division became, between them became so sharp that they divided him. And, and Barnabas took John Mark and continued. Uh, on his mission's journey. It was Barnabas, of course, who helped and was, in fact, one of the principal founders of the Church of Antioch, our church. Uh, he was there with Paul. They taught for two years. They established a school, and Antioch became an apostolic see when Peter came to uh, establish it as such. And so, you know, Barnabas is massively involved in the Christian life, and particularly in our lives. He chose us. I guess I'm saying, don't forget that. You know, so often we forget, and we forget everything. We even forget that we're Christian times in this world. It just seems to swallow us up. We forget faith. We forget God. We look for our answers in things of this flesh and this world. We're secular people, you know. And when things grow difficult or we get challenged or running short on money or you know somebody is sick or we do we worry we fret we we look at our bank account we complain and complain and when do we turn to god and remember god pray and realize whatever happens i'm in god's hands this is god's will if i live if i die it is god's will there's no need to, for me to be anxious and to worry it is up to god and we have a helper Barnabas, 
whom we forget. He's with us always. He's helped us. He's guided us. He's brought us to this place that we have today. He's taking us to where we're going to go tomorrow. Uh, he's, you know, all I'm saying, and I'll wrap it up because that cheeseburger is sounding better and better. Uh, don't forget you have a father, a patron chosen you. Don't forget that you're a part of this community. You know, that's the easy thing to forget these days. We're, you know, splintered by this pandemic. Uh, but we have something that's stronger than disease. We have something that's stronger than death. We have the kingdom of heaven. We have this community. We have God. And we have our patron, Saint Barnabas. Pray to him. And think of your community. Think of your brothers and sisters. And during these difficult times, certainly in the difficult months that lie ahead, Let's reach out to one another all the more. Show love and mercy and forgiveness to one another all the more. Perhaps we've been at each other's throats a little bit during this time. I don't know, but whatever the case may be, this is the time to remember. We are family. We are community. And let us, through the intentions of St. Barnabas, may God have mercy upon us and save us.